Good morning, my name is Cindy Warren. I'm talking to you from the Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois. I am the U.S. Product Manager for Soybean Herbicides and Glyphosate for Dow AgriSciences. This morning we're going to talk about one of our leading brands, Sonic Herbicide. Before I get into the details of Sonic, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're seeing in, in weed control and soybeans lately. If you've had a chance to drive around the Midwest, you've probably seen some really great fields this summer. They're clean, the, the beans look great. But then we also see some other fields that aren't as clean. We've got mare's tail and water hemp poking their heads above the canopy. So we know that weed control is a growing problem for soybean producers. So let's talk a little bit about how Sonic can be one of the solutions to this growing problem. There's three things I really want to talk about for Sonic today. The first is its performance, and then let's talk about what Sonic can mean to your bottom line, and then let's wrap up with talking about how Sonic can fit into how you produce soybeans. So Sonic is one of our fastest growing brands at Dow AgriSciences, and the simple reason for that is it just does a great job of killing weeds. Sonic is a broad spectrum, long-lasting residual herbicide, it's great on today's most troublesome broadleaf weeds that soybean farmers face. Water hemp, mare's tail, common and giant ragweed, lamb's quarter, velvet, we velvet leaf. We just do a great job of controlling those tough weeds. Sonic is also a long-lasting residual product, which means that the recommended rates, it can have a residual life of up to 45 days. So let's talk about what that can mean to your operation. Um, Sonic, since it's used pre-emergence before the soybeans are out of the ground, it, it gives those soybeans a clean start. And that's the most important step to allowing those soybeans to optimize on their yield potential by reducing that early season weed control competition. Uh, we know from university data from the Southern Illinois University that every inch of weed growth can contribute to 0.7 bushels of lost yield. So said another way, um, six to eight inches of weed growth can mean four to five bushels of lost yield. So that's a real impact on your bottom line. So that's why we really recommend uh, an early residual product like Sonic that's going to help those fields stay clean, give that seedling a great chance of getting established and off to a strong start to realizing its potential. Um, how Sonic can fit into your operation is that it's a very flexible product. Sonic can be used on a lot of different soil types and conditions, different pH ranges, and it's also a great tank mix partner. Um, we saw this year that a lot of soybean farmers ran out of time to apply their pre-emergence product. It was just a wet spring, a late spring, a cons compressed spring, so we ran out of time. Sonic has the flexibility to be applied in the fall all the way up to three days after planting. So depending on your weed control situation, if you've got winter annuals or early emerging weeds, you can put it on in the fall. If you have later emerging um, weed problems, you can apply it in the spring all the way up to three days post planting. And like I said, to give you that residual control into the growing crop. Um, Sonic is a great tank mix partner. So say you do no-till and you need a burn down, you can mix Sonic with 2,4-D or glyphosate. So you've got that burn down to start with a clean field and then you're mixing the Sonic with it to give you that residual control um, until the plant can get well established. So Sonic is a brand we're really proud of. It has a lot of great features. I encourage you to talk with your Dow AgriSciences representative to learn more about how Sonic can be a key ingredient in your soybean weed control program. Thank you, it's been great talking with you today. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.